Alright, uh, I need to fix up my ship. And then we gotta boost across the the area. Woo! Here's your rotting fish, lady. Perfect. This will do wonderfully. I can offer you a small sum and thanks. Safe travels. That's it? Just 150 bucks? Man! <laughs> That wasn't that worth it. Let's screw it. Let's get some fish. Okay, hell no. We're... Atrophy. Ruin is visiting these creatures. They shall not recover. Also known as the rose fish, this brightly colored fish is... Okay. Take all. My bad. I wonder if that means you can go around and literally, like, despawn every single fishing spot. Doesn't really seem too worth it, unless you're being lazy like I was there. I just- it just seemed like there was gonna be a shit ton of little guys. And I was right, look how many of them were, there were. But I shouldn't care it's super hardcore. It's not like I'll be <laughs> sailing these seas forever. Oh. I'll rest up because I don't want to look around in the middle of the fog. The night wouldn't be so bad if like the fog was a little better, but obviously that's the point. This place has been treating me well in regards to uh, finding cloth. And other, other pieces. It's gonna say scrap, but I actually don't want the scrap. I want wood. Oh shit. Woo! Nice try. Let's see what happens if I try sailing much further out. Surely there's gotta be something that happens if I try to just leave. Whoa, fuck! What the hell is that? What if I just wanted the little fishes here? Black fin tuna. Neat. I mean, the giant spooky monster hasn't popped up again. Not yet. Maybe, maybe I'm not heading straight out of the map just yet. I seem to be going at like a diagonal there. So, does a storm just kind of happen as you get further and further out? I'm... ...being surprisingly allowed to go pretty far out here. No victims could be found.
We should go. <laughs> we don't trust that, you know. We don't. I don't. I don't need to to die. Reef shark. Usually placid during the day, these predators enter a frenzied hunt when the sun sets. Be economical. I should, uh, bring some of these fish over to the Gale Island and see what happens. Or the, the crabs, rather. Excuse me? Oh, there's a boat back there. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> many of these I'll need or if they're even the right fish type What's the description on these crabs? A relatively normal sized crab with a preposterously large claw. The claw can grip with incredible strength, but the arm is fragile and can be snapped off with ease. I see. I was tempted to sell, but we'll leave it be. Yeah, try your best, <laughs> monster. You can't catch up to me. I go way too fast now. Oh, not the whispers. The whispers, though! That's bullshit! They just came out of nowhere. Oh my god, it's like a fucking pirate ship, dude! What the hell? Oh, that one isn't an evil one. Okay, that's interesting. Focused on the crab statue. There you are. No, that one doesn't count. Fuck. 
Give him back to me then. What happens if I fill it with just regular crabs? No. Alright. Well, it says three crab-like creatures are carved into it. The largest is carved in rocks and other strange shapes. So maybe I'm supposed to do, like, one regular crab, one fiddler crab? And then, like, another type of crab? The rest, I'm selling this shit. You think the mayor's still here? Campsite. You stand in the center of a campsite. The fire's embers are cool, but ash is still steadily blowing out with the wind. Take a closer look at the campfire. A large flat rock sits atop the charred wood of the campfire. A handful of tiny fish bones can be seen poking out of the ashes. Kick the ashes. You kick the ashes! Your foot hits something hard at the bottom of the pile. You brush the remnants aside. Oh shit, research part for that. Alright. You take it. What do you want to do? Look for footprints. You find no footprints, but unfamiliar symbols have been sketched in the dust nearby. Some have been erased with the hasty sweep of a foot. Check out the makeshift tent. The tent is a sheet of cloth suspended over some sticks. There's nothing inside save for a smooth hollow in the dirt where someone slept. Yeah, I forgot to talk to the lighthouse keeper while I was in Greater Marrow. Let me sell these, uh, crabs before they go bad. Decaying blackmouth. A shimmering blackness permeates the flesh of this relentless fish. Muscles atrophied and decaying, but still it swims on. That's a determined fish. Yell it all. Alright, what do I want to put research points into? Our speed's pretty insane as is. I don't really need this immediately. Um. I'm wondering if I should be able to. Once I get these extra two rod spaces, I think I should be able to, uh, use a trawl again. We'll see, though. I'll just put my research away. For now, I'm not sure what I want. Alright. Well. Let's head out to... Greater Mara or something. I need to talk with the lighthouse keeper. I'll talk with the lighthouse keeper first, get her opinion on things. And then maybe we'll have a conversation with the collector. I need that. These can finally get repaired. Uh. 
dry dock. Put away the wood. Purchase upgrade. One more slot. <laughs> Lighthouse Keeper. What is it? What do you know about the Silver and Crimson book? She shudders at the very mention of the book. You're really asking me? After all this time? You know it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. You have to move on. For her sake as well as yours. Take control. Be rid of that thing once and for all. What? What? But I'm not the one with the book. It's the dude on the island. We're gonna plot twist and say that I'm actually the dude on the island this whole time as well? Bear. I wanna ask about the Rider region. Tell me about the, uh, Devil's Spine. Ah, yes, it's quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst a city of ancient ruins. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in the water and would surely tear through your hull. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear a rumbling from here. There's another area you'd like to discuss? Tell me about Twisted Strand. Hmm, I don't think there's much to tell. It's just a tangled mass of trees. It's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You'd want some good lights and a good sense of direction if you were to go exploring there. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Tell me about Stellar Basin. Quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the atoll built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those. I mean, there was a lot of fish. It was pretty good for making the moolah. Alright, you know what? He brings up a good point. I should go back to... the Strand area. Uh... Yeah, Twisted Strand. Because... I never finished getting all the research stuff over there. Bronze Whaler. I wonder where the statue for the large fish is, man, because now we're actually catching them pretty often, but I've got no fucking idea where it is. I think it might have been around Stellar Basin? Unsure. You know what? She might have uh, research parts. Oh. Fish market. No, wait. No, sorry. Shipyard. Oh. No, she doesn't have any. Shit. Well, then just take this away. I guess I'll buy an explosive just in case. Alright, let's explore around this place. Uh, did I ever? Okay, yeah, that's the island we got our first piece from. I didn't really fully look around here though, we came from the left side. Nothing really there. There's the beach with the weird markings. Gray mullet. I guess I've had one of those before.
campsite. Check the bundle of fabric. Look at the first set. Look at the second set. The third set. The downwards arrow points from the book down through the wave. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything to me. Hope it's not important. Wreckage of an old fighter plane lies buried deep in the sand. You pull a little closer. Look inside. Nice. A research part and a dog tag to get an extra research part. Okay, so not not all of the dog tags are gonna be in the water. So we really do have to pay attention to like any like wreckage we find. over here, but I might have to go to the other side for that. It also might be the one that I had to go get the mortar part from, so it might not actually have anything, like, on it, on it. I hear another groaning piece over here. What is this? Crooked boulder with a small, simple platform at its base. The twisted shape of a deformed fish is barely recognizable, carved into its- into the rock face. Alright, so I guess it just wants a fucked up fish. I don't got one of those right now. See the plane? Uh, I might be able to get back around from over here. I am glad we were able to take out the mine suckers. I don't have to worry about them anymore. Fuselage of an old fighter plane sits amidst a mass of broken wings and wheels. Try to get inside the fuselage. Dog tag. Broken spectacles. Boots. Nice. And here we go. Our last cloth. Unless it turns out there's a whole nother hull upgrade, which... That'd be sweet, but if it is, that shit's hidden. No research parts. That's all right. Uh, let's head back to the camp. Actually, let's look a left. I want to check out that plane. Okay, now there's nothing to, nothing to inspect. All right. I think this place is relatively safe at night, now that the mine suckers are gone. The only problem is the shifting trees. Those are a problem. Alright, Ermin. Have some dog tags. One, two. Hi. Hmm. Thank you. I'll hang them on the tree. Here, as promised. Hmm. Nice. That's all of them, than I can remember anyways. I can't picture their faces too clearly anymore. Oh shit. Okay. 
<laughs> I was hoping there'd be like one more part or something, but no. Well, now I've got an excess, or well, not really an excess, but I've got a lot. I'm wondering what I should spend it on. I can just say, fuck it, and go for engine, go super fast all around the place. Um, I could also go for a large trawl net, since I should be able to upgrade things soon. Coastal Oceanic. Designed to catch the largest of fish, 18 per day. 9 by 10 capacity. That sounds really fucking nice. Large crab pot, massive crab pot. The use of strong but lightweight alloys and construction results in a durable and spacious trap. Five by five and last seven days. That's pretty nice. Hell yeah. Uh, I guess we'll put these away. And then head back to the traveler. Mer or traveling merchant. Hmm. All right. Oh my god, that took so long. Floating dock. Take the last cloth. Well... I didn't get an achievement for doing it, so maybe maybe there is going to be a little bit more later on. I'll, I'll keep some wood on standby just in case. So with that, let us take a look at things. I should be able to make some changes here. A large trawl net would go there. Can, is there a way for me to... See, my problem is I want to have the versatile rod at the same time as the Fathomless Winch, which is what we've currently got going on right now. Because that lets us fish everything, basically. But because of that, I'm not able to just get fish while traveling, which is something I really wanted to be able to do. But it looks like in order to do that, I'll have to maybe... Do something fucking tricky? Hmm. What I could do is I could maybe get these smaller fishing lines. It doesn't seem like it, it's going to work, though. Fuck, man. I was really wanting to, like, use this. Oh, well. Yeah, I could sell this piece of scrap. I should sell these fish. Mm. Coastal oceanic, coastal shallow.
Postal Shallow Oceanic. Hmm. Actually, you know what? We're we are just about to go over to the volcanic area. I'm probably gonna end up having to just take the versatile rod anyways. Large crab pot is 136. Oh. Let me install this back. Alright, so we've got... Some... Hmm... We've got five tiles of available space for, like, fishing rod-based stuff. This is annoying. Fuck it, fuck it. I just won't capture anything big for a while. Teleport. It just makes me really sad. But now I can at least throw a trawl net. So technically, like, that's supposed to kind of make up for it. Uh, I should be able to sell all of these. And put these away. Eyed mackerel. What if I go back to the uh, the strand with this many eyed mackerel? Yeah, we just have to accept that. Okay. Hmm. Repair all of these and then grab a large crab pot from the fishmonger. I should throw my crab pots anywhere like special. Let's try throwing some over in an area that's like 10 meters deep.
You know, when I'm not getting fucking harassed by the darkness or some shit. Alright. We'll see how that does. I want to see if I can get, like, unique crab types in a, a little bit further out. Thank you.